Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me. I'd like to read some scripture with you today. It's from Psalm 27, and it's really a declaration of faith in God. Listen to this. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. We live in some pretty troubled times, I think, in this world. And yet, in the middle of all these troubles and the darkness that seems to hang over our head, we have this declaration of great hope that the Lord is our light and he's our salvation. It's not in the things of the world which are passing away. It's not in what others say about us. It's not in our own strength because it says, the Lord is the strength of my life. And it says we don't have to be afraid. Of whom shall I be afraid? You no matter know what's going, whatever's going on around you or what anyone might say about you, um, don't be afraid. Trust in God. Even if war would come and great trouble would come into your life, trust God. Be confident, it says. One thing that you and I ought to seek, that we could dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. That's an interesting statement because, you know, for a believer, our life our eternal life, it begins the time when we believe in Jesus Christ and it does not end forever. <laughs> so when it says all the days of my life, that means forever. And it says to behold the beauty of the Lord. You know what you got to do is get rid of the stinking thinking and replace in your mind the positive assurance, the hope of knowing that you belong to God. And then no matter what's going on around us here, he's the strength of our life. We can trust him. All the days of our life is forever. And someday we're going to spend the rest of eternity in his presence in heaven, beholding his beauty, secure, not having to worry about all the troubles in this world because it's all passing away. And we're going to spend forever in his presence. And I got to tell you, it will be wonderful when we're there. So don't allow the stuff in this life to get you discouraged or down. Look up. Never be discouraged. Keep your hope because he, God, loves you. And so do I. God bless you.